And here we are, it's LA baby. I'm standing here with Darren Green, the Senior Vice President of Sales for the Los Angeles Tourism and Convention Board. Darren, how are you today? I'm doing well, Mike, how are you today? I'm great today and I'm anxious to find out all about what's new and great and what's happening in LA. It's LA, baby, so talk to us. Well, you know, it's what's not happening in LA. I mean, everything from the talk about a sports team coming to LA to the renovation of our convention center, our dining has never been more popular. We've got new hotels coming online and I mean, the hotels are busier, they're popping, uh, the destinations are popping and uh, the best is yet to come. Excellent, so when we talk about the group in the meetings market, what are some of the trends that you're starting to see from your perspective? Well, we're seeing a lot of uh, short-term meetings, a lot of short-term corporate opportunities. Uh, a lot of the boutique hotels are doing very well. And what we're seeing is the hotels are doing very well occupancy-wise. So it's not a matter of size, it's a matter of the quality of the program and when the customer gets in. I think the key is flexibility. So if customers are coming in and they want to say a Wednesday, Friday pattern, they might want to also come with a backup of a Thursday, Sunday because hotels are busy, so the flexibility they have is going to offer more options, both with number of properties and with rates. Yes, and of course, LA has one of the great airports in the world, great service in and out, a lot Absolutely. of direct flights from pretty much anywhere into LA. But uh, when you talk about LA from the perspective, again, uh, of the health and wellness, mm -hmm. because that's a big buzz nowadays, I know that some of the venues, the properties, the people you're working with, they're, they're, they're doing a lot of things for the groups and meetings that are coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, you know, getting people outdoor and really understanding that LA, LA has close to 300 days of sunshine every year. So getting them to expose things, al fresco dining, also hikes, also swimming, and also just walking around the city and really discovering the city. So getting people outside in, in terms of an experiential type of help health and wellness. Also our spas and things like that offer a great option as well. And I like to go back to what you said about the airports and the lift. LA just came, became the second busiest airport in the country this year. And our international lift for the Newtown Bradley Terminal is better than ever. We can accommodate more A380s than any other airport in the country. Excellent. Well, it seems like there's lots going on. Is there anything else that you want to make sure that we've learned about what's going on in Los Angeles right now? Well, you know, I'd also like to point out a couple areas. Downtown is exploding. Uh, the, the billions of dollars being invested both with commercial, residential, and corporate is really unequaled. I'd also like to mention that LA's got the fastest growing high tech segment of any other city in the country right now. We've got an area called Silicon Beach, right around Venice and Santa Monica, and you see companies like Google, companies like TrueCar, all these other companies that are starting to build there because of the saturation in other areas. So our tech segment has never been hotter. It really appeals to the millennials in a lot of ways, and it's truly an experience. LA has really evolved and changed, and I will tell you, if you haven't been to LA in the last two or three years, you haven't been to LA. Great, great closing statement from Darren Green. Thank you so much, Darren, and we're all coming to L.A., baby. L.A.